My name is Jason Morrow. I play for the Tennessee Titans, class of 2011 Texas Tech Red Raiders. I play football here with my great friend Bradley Marquez. Which is my name, uh, Bradley Marquez, uh, wide receiver for the LA Rams now. Uh, played at Texas Tech from 2011 to 2014. 14, yeah, 2014. I would say, I mean, my grand, my grandpa, like I said, he immigrated here from, from Mexico. So he's always just worked hard. I mean, he worked up until the day he passed. And um, so that hard work uh, mentality that um, is something that he instilled in me to help me, uh, you know, get to where I'm at. So I, I you know, thank him for that for sure. Because uh, without that, you know, hard work um, and seeing it firsthand, um, you know, I, I feel like that helped shape me a lot into, you know, the player that I am today. And then, um, you know, as far as, you know, how, how it's, it's helped me, um, you know, being in L.A. now, uh, it's a big uh, Mexican market out there. Um, you know, we've got a lot of fans, uh, you know, that are that are from Mexico or have family from Mexico. So, so it's nice to be able to, you know, be around it a lot more now. And so I'm learning more and more um, about it. And, and the support that they show me is a lot of love and support. I think obviously there's not too many uh, Mexican-Americans in the NFL or really just uh, Latinos or Hispanics, so it's, it's definitely an, uh, an honorable achievement to, to make it this far. Um, I think, I mean, obviously, I think me and or Brad and I, you know, have, you know, we've made it so far, but we have a lot bigger goals too to accomplish. So I think that uh, with that, it would definitely give us a good trademark to, to to really set the tone for you know a younger generation of, of people of our uh, descent to be able to accomplish what they want to accomplish. I think that everybody's got a very similar shot of doing what they want to really accomplish. That every, you know, from day one to, to when you're born, obviously different people are born in, you know, different aspects from poverty to a better background of parents and stuff. But in the end, it's really just going to come down to if you want to be able to accomplish your dreams. And, and um, you know, obviously this, is, this wasn't easy for us to achieve. You know, Brad and I put thousands of hours of work, of uh, conditioning, of strength training, of working our crafts to be able to get to where we are now. Um, so it's not, you can't just sit around and just wish, wish, wish you could do something. It, it takes a very long, determined commitment of years of years of years of training. You know, it's, it's something that you, even right now for both of us, it's something that we continually have to learn to get better not just as football players, but as, you know, people, you know, making our minds, you know, expand our minds from knowledge to sport. So I think in the end, it, like I said, it's something that you got to tell yourself when you wake up in the morning, I'm going to give it everything I got today. Because if I don't, I'm not going to be able to accomplish what I want to accomplish. Yeah. Just, you know, just piggybacking off of that, it's, I don't think, you know, ethnicity or anything plays a part in um, in making someone not be able to achieve their goals. Like, I mean, I, I feel like if you want it bad enough, it no matter what race or anything that you may be, you can do whatever you want to do. I mean, there may not be very many Mexicans in the NFL, but there are. So, you know, you can be the few, you know, and, you know, there's not very, you know, many in hockey, you know, so you can do that as well. But it's, you know, you can be that 1% or whatever sport. You don't have to be, oh, because I'm Mexican, I got to play soccer or, or, you know, black, play football or basketball. That's that's not the case. I don't think race is, is uh, should ever be in any, any young kid's mind as far as to, to hinder them and in achieving their true goals that they want to accomplish.